Hi, welcome to Hit the Bricks, and welcome to what I consider an overdue review of a car or truck. It's been a while, I've been working on the Lego City, and now I've narrowed down the era in which I want to model, which would be the late 50s and early 60s. I came across this great looking truck on Rebrickable. It's a 1930s delivery slash farm truck by the designer Miro. We're going to take a look at this today. So I came across this truck. Here's the information on Rebrickable. This is about $5 US to download a PDF. Great instructions, very clear, no problems there. I'll put a link down below if you wish to purchase it yourself. I'm not affiliated with them at all, so it's up to you. I came across this, it's part of a winter theme. Uh, you can see that up atop here. It's got some other buildings that would go with it. It's uh, supposed to be delivering apples and apple cider here in the back. Uh, I think it's a it's a great truck for, for me because it's a 1930s farm truck. I'm doing late 50s, early 60s. This would be an older truck that would still be in service. I thought it was perfect. The truck itself has got some great features. So I think the techniques used in building the truck really helped capture that 1930s uh, type normal truck you'd see everywhere on a farm or for delivery. One of the things that really helps is this sloped area right here in the front and then these molded fenders and the running boards. Those are two things that really set that style, that era apart. Now I did have to change up the front slope here by the, by the hood. I simply had none of these parts whatsoever. Didn't matter which color, I didn't have any of them. So I went ahead and used this. It works, you get the general idea, the general style of it. However, uh, those original parts in the PDF I don't know if this was by design, by the designer Miro or not, but those kind of uh, those holes in there really give, in my mind, a representation of the, the vents for the hood. So if you're not familiar with this, this style of, of vehicle, the hood itself is actually split down the middle and it opens, it opens like this. And then on the sides there, that's like your, that's your venting for the engine. So the original PDF, that actually works really well with those bricks. That's a nice touch. Um, at some point, if I come across those bricks uh, by chance, I don't know if I'll order them because I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with how this looks, but if I did come across those bricks, I would definitely replace it. So like I was saying, uh, the, the fenders here going into the running boards all being molded together, that's a really uh, unique style to that period too. Uh, that was a style for quite a while in vehicles. So I like how they did that here. I like in the front, I like the, the grill of course, and then the, the headlights using these pieces here I think really worked out really well. So I like those features. I like the overall size too, let me just point that out. Uh, the minifigure going over, I mean it is the, I don't know if you wanna call it, I wouldn't really call it Speed Champions size, I, I don't know, it's six studs wide, seven with the mirrors, but it's a truck. A pickup truck so i think it's a little closer to minifig scale the minifig by the way fits in there just fine with the hat or hair so i thought that was really good i, li I like the size of it. it it works well so i like those features in the front as far as the aesthetics it does have these uh, movable mirrors these larger mirrors on the side are are kind of uh, reminiscent of that that time period as well so i thought that was a nice touch I like the colors that they use, the brown with the blue and then the black here. I did have to use a dark blue right here for the fuel tanks. I think that's what that would be, the fuel tanks there. I didn't have uh, any grays or black or anything that might look a little bit better, but I went with the dark blue. It's just what I had. The door is open, so that's a nice touch. Um, and I think that really, between the doors opening and the mirrors moving and the other, part that actually functions here is these back here. All these drop down by the, uh, by the bed of the truck. That's nice to access. So if you're setting up a scene, you can have like some of these things on there, some removed. I really like that. Uh, that's, a nice, that's a nice touch right there. I did have to use some different colors there as well, the black and such, but overall I think it looks pretty good. Now, let me take this back down here again. If we remove some of this, this, uh, this little cart here that's attached in here, there's a piece that it attaches onto. So that's pretty nice. It could be in the truck uh, attached on there if you, uh, if you don't have the, 
the other goods in here. These are the apples here and the apple cider. So I like all that. One thing I thought about with this truck too is I might make another one of these, maybe in a different color or something, because really this truck, this design, like I said, will work out fine for me because it will be an older truck still in service, even in my time period. But it could be a classic truck if you're doing modern times or if you're just doing whatever, just a you know, freestyle, whatever you want, it would work fine in, in your city then too. But one thing I was thinking is, not only can this be like this delivery truck here right now in this setup, but it also could be a regular pickup truck. So put a regular pickup bed in there. It could be a tow truck, easily converted. It could be a flatbed truck, or it could be a, if you put a whole box in the back here, it could be a, a full, enclosed delivery truck. So lots of possibilities with this model. I really like that. Let's take a look at the back here. Uh, I do not have the mud flaps. It's supposed to have these black mud flaps. The only color I had that I could use for that was white. And it really didn't look good. It stood out too much. I didn't like it, so I ended up taking them off. But I did leave the, uh, the bars in here for them because without them, it actually looked a little plain. And I, I might pick those up. I, I do like how that looks. I think it gives it a nice complete look in the back. This is how the back looks. Again, you can open that, just the back part if you wanted to. I did replace the white license plate with uh, yellow. I don't know, I just like that. It looks retro to me. Uh, the wheels I think are a good fit. The wheels and tires, I like that. I think it goes good with the size of the truck. So overall, it's just a good truck. It's built well. Um, it's really sturdy. It's uh, it's it's not built on a Speed Champions frame or anything like that, a molded frame. It's just brick by brick. So that's just a really quick kind of look at this truck. I just came across it and I'm like, it's part of this uh, Christmas theme with this couple other buildings like I mentioned before. I might do those buildings. I, I really like how that looks. So I might set that up for my Christmas set, but this truck itself, is gonna work great in my city. I'm really happy I came across it. I had all the bricks for it, except for the ones in the front, so it's not using a whole lot of unique bricks that I had to order. Like I said, I like the size. I think it's gonna look great uh, as part of my 50s and 60s theme that I have going. So if you like the truck, uh, like I said, there's a link down below if you wanna check it out a little bit more and be brickable. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell notification. It'd be a great time to do so. I'm actually going to put this truck in the city and work on some more of that southern uh, docks and harbor region. If you've been watching uh, that, that's where I'm working right now. I'll put a link up on top in case you haven't seen that. But uh, So I'm going to hit the bricks doing that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.